Hi, this is Marissa Holt of MHO XP Productions. Um, I introduced a little snippet of a corner store, the fiction story that I was working on um, the year 2023. It's fiction, it's a short story. I have a few more short stories, but this one here is um, interesting. Uh, I also have uh, non fiction motivation stories that I've written out in audio and this will be available in audio as well so I'll give you another preview to corner store keep your affairs in order this is uh, a couple of paragraphs into the first segment let's get going uh, okay I'll go with this she leaned into his kiss and spoke to him happy birthday sweetheart it happened just like that. I sat there with Mona, his daughter, and was blown away. My mom actually kissed another man besides my dad. It had been seven years, and I guess she just found that she had to let him be the one to scratch that itch. I didn't know if I could allow myself to be disgusted at him. After all, he is like my dad, just a man, a very wealthy man. Perhaps this was just the type of straw that could break any woman's back. I just hated to see it in my own mother. My father was the one who left us down and out after being found out of his lustful tendencies. Him being the rogue was hurtful. It's brought out the viper in my mom and this may just be the type of cougar that Samson wanted to tame or as the old folks say, wanted to settle down with. Time will be the deciding factor as I tried to pull at my mother over him and his dangling car keys and was rudely awakened to an eye-opening stark truth. Everybody had a breaking point. Him being in jail, accused of murder, my mother being shorted on her hours, barely able to buy ingredients for her prize winning specialty cake. Now we'll see how much of this recipe will create a smoldering dish of requainted love or devilish dish of desire that only enemies can devour. Just three short years ago, that's right, here is the proof the child is turning four soon. She's adorable and quite much like her daddy. And whatever trace of her mother, we can only attribute to that fateful day that her mother held me behind, that my mother held me behind her at the very deep volcano of her anger. She must have been devastated to see the love in my mother's eyes as she toyed with the knowledge that she'd been got she'd gotten pregnant with his child and intended to marry him. The devilish, the obvious dig and untimely demise of her own story unfolded in such a manner of unspeakable irony and demonic betrayal that could have only happened with the wrong man in her life. Now I can remember being older and having a brief taste of, of a kiss of suffering at the hands of a brutal lover that can only dream that you can only dream of as the time and place could not bring justice to the moment pulling the fire of their love into a future of paradise the smoldering of flames of desire can only be quenched by the two experience such a drought and a turbulent twist of fate not to be ignored much longer as this as the ones who desire the hardest are rewarded with the bounty of hearts to cherish and not destroy. I, I could only look on in awe of such a tragedy unfold, and yet a beautiful scene of redemption as yet to be advanced in a journey of love and happiness, of newfound passion, reunited and ignited, never to be denied, if ever again threatened to be and divided. Her father, this great Her man father. of wealth, glanced at the sweet child next to me and gave in to the undeniable innocence of magic love. Gave her a sweet smile and wonder, had to wonder, wonder of life. life. Will we bask in unrequented love or crash and burn like, like many, 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 many discarded on his journey, journey, journey of undeniable quench of, of sweet nectar of living, living a green, green, a green, green and great, great lifestyle? lifestyle? My mom seemed to step right into a virtual reality of what a, what a coulda shoulda what a and on and, and oh, and oh what, what the hell. hell. He's crazy about me. Shoes. Shoes. Shoes that were 
hard to fit for sure. They seemed to fit this Cinderella just right. She wasn't looking back. I could see her hands casually dance around on the steering wheel. Her lips easily kissing him and I was blushing with the knowledge that they may have been doing this all along. It seemed so natural to both of them, like nothing else mattered. He pushed the digits into the GPS and we began the pathway to his elegant roadmap to the house that awaited us. Full of surprise and eager, oh, eager to welcome fresh blood into his entryway. This has been just this another, been just another of the short of the short story. Short story. This is M H O X P. Share some, share some. M H O X P. I'm Russell Holt.